along with Donald Trump, our democracy uh, dodged a bullet uh, yesterday. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. And this is a horrific act of political violence that ought to be roundly condemned. First couple of shots, actually, Dave and Mike Kelly, we looked at each other, and then the next shot, we knew that it was gunfire, and we, we just fixated on the president. Everybody in this country, no matter what their political views are, uh, wishes former President Trump a, a rapid and speedy recovery. I'm just so grateful that the that, that, uh, former President Trump is okay. President Trump knew exactly the risks he was taking running for re-election. He, he knew he'd be vilified. He probably didn't understand the full extent of lawfare. He realized his life would be at risk. But he did it anyway. And you know why, Jake? Because President Trump loves this country. I wish I could say I was surprised, but I've been worried about this for a very, very long time. The rhetoric is way too hot, but I was just grateful that he made it. It's not hard to imagine that some of the extreme rhetoric we see contributed to the attempt on President Trump. Former President Donald Trump has called on national unity, and he is absolutely right. Political violence of any kind or shape or form is unacceptable. It is un-American. I've already announced that Congress will do a full investigation of the tragedy yesterday to determine where there were lapses in security. Department of Justice, Secret Service, uh, FBI need to be completely transparent so the American people can have comfort that uh, this has been fully investigated and we know exactly what happened here.